Live from Studio 155, it's Orange Juice. With your hosts, Ellie and Orion. Good morning, West. My name is Orion. My name is Ellie, and we are third period, third period media production. And welcome to the first episode of Orange Juice. What is Orange Juice? Well, it's our media spotlight on stuff we find cool at West. Davis likes to call it propaganda. We uh, bring it to the people live through our show. So what's happened at West? I, did you go to the hockey game? I went to the girls' one. Well, how was that? It was good. It was, um, our team combines with Diamond and West, and I believe we've won state two years in a row now. Yeah, boys got second. It was a good game, though. It was out in the Valley. I was surprised that many people showed up. We have a good team, so we'll win next year. Yeah, we got them next year. What about uh, announcements this morning? There's a lot of people who want to dance. Yeah, our dance team does really well. We interviewed Miss Irene last week, so look out for that interview. Yeah, what do you know about the teacher we uh, interviewed this week? Miss Pride, she does HOSA meetings, which is a program all around the nation about just the medical field and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, last year, I was lucky enough to take uh, Miss Davis' class, and Miss Pride, Ms. Pride took, that, took over that class now, so I'm interested to see what she did with the program. All right, let's head upstairs then. Hi, my name is Lisa Pride. I teach biomedical science and human body systems, and I also teach medical terminology. I love watching people get it, if you know what I mean. So when the light bulb goes off, um, I, get, I, I feel a certain way, and so I get to see that all the time as a teacher. Originally, I had planned on going to dental school, and those plans didn't quite work out, and I'm pretty grateful that they didn't work out, but um, uh, in college, I studied biomedical science and I have just a huge passion for it. Super duper fun. So interesting. So the goal for Medical Academy is to introduce students who have some sort of interest in, in a medical career to um, careers that they might not have considered before. My name is Maggie Cox and I am a junior at West High. I am currently in Human Body Systems, which is a class in the CD pro or the PLTW program. HOSA is a club that we host here at West. Um, it's actually a nationwide club and it is dedicated to um, improving the education of people who are interested in going into health fields, um, specifically like hospitals and or like psych psychiatric offices and stuff like that. I have always been super interested in helping people uh, I, like for a career. And I don't know, it just really spoke to me. Some of the classes have been really interesting and I've really enjoyed the time that I've spent in the program. Uh, I am the president this year. West is the best. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Miss Pride is super cool. If you're interested in the medical field, I would 100% check her out. Also, if you take these classes, you can uh, earn credit in the medical cord, which looks really good on your uh, certificate when you graduate. You get to graduate with a stethoscope around your neck at graduation, so I think that's, that's really tight. good. You get your own West stethoscope. Now let's go to the hallway for Game of the Day with Drew Smith. All right, what's up, everybody? We got some West High trivia here coming at you from the CTE wing of West High School. We got our contestants, Dolan and Mac, over here, and they are going to be answering five West High trivia questions. They're going to get five seconds each. It's going to be super duper dope. They're going to write their answers here on these whiteboards and show them to the camera. It's going to be lit. All right, here's our first question for both of you. What decade was West High School founded? I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see those whiteboards. 700, 1950s. This point is gonna go to Dolan here. Dolan, how do you feel about this newfound point? Oh, it's great, honestly. I didn't expect to do this well. Yeah, 100%. All right, go ahead and give yourself a tally mark there. Okay, here's our second West High trivia question. What class, what program does Miss Pride teach? I'm gonna give you guys five seconds for this. Five, four, three, two, one. Skin down to the wire. Okay, let's see what they got. We got art and we got medical. That point is gonna go to Dolan again. Congratulations, young man. How does that feel? <laughs> that feels great. I honestly had no idea. Taking the lead. Can Mac make a comeback? We're about to find out. Question three. What was West's original name? I'm gonna give you five seconds for this one. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, let's see here. Dolan Mac. Your answer is Anchorage High School. I don't know. Oh, sorry, man. Dolan, this one's going to you again. I swear it's not rigged. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Can Mac make a comeback? Out of these three choices, who created the West High School robotics cart? Is it Jonathan Moore, Aiden Ogilvy Fiaco, or Caleb Platt? All stellar members of our school's robotics team. Which one of them is it? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's see those answers. Caleb, Jonathan, I'm afraid the answer is Jonathan Moore. Mac, I'm sorry, man. Today is just not your day. We're going to have to bring you back another one of these times. You'll take back that crown as the trivia king. Finally, last question. And this is going to be a verbally spoken answer because there's no way either of you can spell this one. What does IB stand for? I'm going to give you five seconds to think about that answer in your head. Think real hard. Five, four, three, two, one. What? The Baccalaureate. Ah. Uh, I would say, Dolan, you get this point. It is International Baccalaureate. I mean, you, you pretty much got it. You can't spell it. You can't pronounce it. It's weird French stuff, you know? Anyway, you got close. It is International Baccalaureate Program. That'll do it for today's West High Trivia Program. Dolan is our winner with five points. Mac, we're going to have to have you back sometime, buddy. Thank you for watching. All right, thank you, Drew Smith, for Game of the Day. Congratulations on the win, Dolan. And if you want to participate in Game of the Day, come down to Davis's room, C-153, and maybe you can get a chance to play live. So, what are we moving on to next? We're moving on to Mr. Cho, right? The robotics teacher? Yeah, I was lucky enough to take a math class with him last year. Really cool teacher. I'm interested to learn a little bit more about his other programs he teaches. Yep, let's do that. Let's head next door. My name is Mr. Troll. I teach math, geometry, pre-calculus, and digital electronics. My digital electronics class is a class where students get to come and learn about digital circuit design and the basics of computer hardware. So we learn about the ones and the zeros, how our devices work, what their, what their basic function is, how can we manipulate um, electricity from just counting from one to zero on and off to doing things a little bit more complicated than that. My class students will work on circuits, some of them of their own design. One of the circuits that we build is a random number generator. It's like a six-sided die, but it'll, it's, it's made of logic gates and LEDs, so the lights blink in a pattern that the students design to generate a random number from one to six. Uh, most of the circuits we design are, are built from combinational logic. Students learn about the ones and zeros, the, the logic gates that create the circuit. It's the machinery behind the machine that we're focused on in my class. CTE, career and technical education. CTE classes here are great because they give kids a, a little bit of a, a view of some skills and some knowledge sets that are more valuable in the real world. We're thinking, we're not just thinking about getting them ready for, for college or helping them graduate high school. We're thinking about what are they gonna do for a living as a career after high school. They're almost adults. We wanna give them some skills, and some knowledge that gets them prepared, whatever the field might be. Even if you don't think you're gonna go into engineering or medicine or media, taking these classes, undergoing these projects that they go through gives you kind of an idea of of project-oriented work, which so many careers value out there. So I think it's all about learning the process, problem-solving, project-based, teamwork-based learning. It's all good. Why did I choose to work at West? West chose me, man. That's, I, I belong here. This is the place to be. I love this place, the students, the diversity, the reputation of excellence, both academic, athletic, everything. Um, this place, there's a good vibe here. And uh, I love being here. Mr. Troll seems like a super cool dude. And yeah, a lot of interesting program. stuff going on over there. Yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Um, that was a pretty fun show. Yeah, the first one went pretty well. Tune in for us next week. Stay zesty, Westies. I'm going to so pretend I didn't bad. do that. <laughs>